All right, here's something I just picked up today. This is a 30 kilowatt load bank, uh, primarily used for testing uh, AC generator sets. It's a military issue, if you couldn't tell. Um, it's made by the Sun Electric Corporation. I picked this up from work. The story behind it is not much is known about it. It's been here for years, other than the uh, cooling fans for the heating elements don't work. So, I've had my eye on this for a while, and uh, I think it'll really come in handy if I can get it to get it operational for testing uh, and uh, testing the various generator projects I work on. So we'll do a quick little look around. Control panel is pretty basic. Got some operating instructions there. Probably can't read them. It's the Sun GPT. 3D1 alternator load bank. So, like I said, it's a it's a multi-voltage load bank. 12240, 12208, 244.16. Doesn't say 480 though, which is kind of strange. It says 416. So you got your power selector switches here, you got two 9KW switches, a 6, a 3, and then this one says 0 to 3. So when you have that on, you've got a uh, three-phase rheostat behind here, uh, zero, to th uh, 0 to 3 kilowatt load. And then a master switch here, a couple of control fuses. So let's take a look on the inside real quick. Here's that three-phase uh, rheostat. They're just ganged, ganged together. You got heating elements wound around the fan here, and all the different taps for them. There's three. Here's the second one, third one. So, again, not much is really known about this. Uh, you've got three input transformers, control transformers. Um, they're primarily there for the uh, uh, fan control. I'll, I'll show you that in a diagram. Uh, each fan's got a little, this is called the wind switch, so it will not let you energize the heating elements unless this switch is being drawn in by the fan uh, to indicate that the cooling fan is running. So, I've just been probing around on it. Uh, I haven't even put uh, power to it. So, the wind switches work properly. The um, windings in the fan motors are not open circuit. They actually measure exactly 50 ohms. So, I'm thinking that's a little bit too precise a number to uh, be incorrect, but I don't know. So, a little bit of uh, work to do yet. Got three rectifiers here. Two and three. Uh, yeah. Take a look at the front panel here, more the the air outlet side. So the fans draw air through the back and blow it out the front here. There's a huge connector here. This is a, your input selector. 24416 three phase four wire, or 240 volt single phase, or 12283 wire, or three phase four wire. 120 single phase or 240 volt three phase three wire. So I've never never seen a load bank with a uh, a neutral uh, connector though however usually they're just straight three phase so or you know three hot input but here's your uh, input lugs they say so on them which are kinda neat. So let's take a look at the wiring schematic real quick. Luckily, it's attached to the door. Let me sit down here. So here's those three uh, input control transformers right here, feeding the rectifiers. And the rectifier outputs are all paralleled, and they run through two capacitors, which are just filter capacitors, I imagine, to clean up the output a little bit. And then from the 
capacitors, the three fan motors here are all parallel. So they all run at the same time, regardless of what uh, what combination of heating elements you're pa ener energizing. And of course, here's the wind switches. So it looks like that's their only function, those uh, transformers. It's all in the control. So, yeah, look at that. So you got... So these are, I forget what they were, normally open, so when the fan's running, this contact closes, allows K1 to energize, and K1's coil, where's K1's contact at? I'll have to look through this uh, schematic. It's not all that complicated, it's just a lot of parallel switches feeding heating elements. So. Luckily, this is still here. <laughs> and there's the taps on the transformer. But you can see how they're tapped. You got two windings on the primary side. So if you trace them out here, they go to these switches here. So, which actually, they're probably just jumper wires, which are in that large connector. Whether that large connector is at the top position or the bottom position is whether or not those jumpers are connected or where the jumpers get connected to connect the transformers for a high voltage or a low voltage input so it'd be a fun little project to look at if anybody owns one of these or has any experience with them leave a message actually as a matter of fact there's one on ebay right now as soon as i um, knew i was going to get this i just took a look on ebay there's one not far from me at all over in Philadelphia but it looks pretty rough so here's a shot of the build plate and the military identification plate alright so that's about it for this video Stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching.